What's up, you guys? In today's episode, I go over my new, to me, 2006 LTD EC1000 Deluxe. Stay tuned. What is up, you guys? It's your boy, Luis Torres, and I feel like throughout the years, I've kind of had people just bust my chops because they're like, dude, you're an ESP snob. Um, and I guess I, I always have been, but it's like anything else. Like, there are guys who the only guitars they play are Ibanez Prestige models or Gibson Les Paul Traditionals or North From That or... Paul Reed Smith, custom 22s, 24s, and they have to be 10 tops. You know what I mean? Like, whatever that upper echelon of guitar is in your mind, I just happen to have a bunch of them. Um, but over the last few months, I've been dabbling with LTDs. So if you guys have been watching my episodes, then you know that I originally started with my Ash 1996 LTD M2, which was built in Japan the year that LTD came out. They did that just because, you know, they wanted to, to put out uh, a, a certain level of guitar manufacturing. And I feel like at the time they figured, hey, let's just get our Japanese factory to create a bunch of them. And that'll be the inception of the LTD brand. Uh, and I have one and I was just like, okay, I see what's going on there. Uh, and then a bunch of people were just like, dude, if you like that guitar, you're going to love any of the LTDs that are in the 1000, uh, line. So I ended up buying one LTD M1000 deluxe instantly fell in love with it, figured that it had to, it had to be a fluke, right? So I bought a second one <laughs> and I'm looking at that one over here, which is, um, another LTD M1000 deluxe. And sure enough, those two are lit are almost, eh, maybe it's about 90% accurate to my ESP M2 customs, which are neck through body. They're super solid. So are the LTD 1000s but it's a set neck. So as long as you're okay with the set neck versus a neck through body, then you're, you're golden. You know what I mean? Like that's kind of the only hiccup people would typically have if they had anything. So, um, you know, for a few years, I absolutely loved, uh, Gibson Les Pauls. I owned three at once, sold those three and bought two Paul Reed Smith customs, uh, sold one of the customs, a custom 24, still have my custom 22, but that's kind of the only guitar that I really have in my collection that is Les Paul shape ish. Um, so my boy, Nick Williams, who loves the eclipse, uh, shape, which is the Les Paul shape. Uh, he actually had a beautiful red volcano, uh, ESP eclipse. Uh, he's also the one, if you, if you've ever seen the white ESP, uh, Eclipse with the red blood splatter. That's his. He actually owns that now. Um, and doesn't want to sell it to me for less than $500. I don't know why. Um, so you guys may have seen that I ended up picking up an, an LTD, uh, EC 1000 deluxe. This thing is absolutely gorgeous with a beautiful maple flame matching flame on the headstock. Also set neck, um, super light. It feels incredible in your hands. Uh, feels the neck is just like my M2s, my M1, 
my Horizon, I mean, literally, it's the same neck. It's crazy as far as the diameter goes. And, of course, the beautiful abalone that they have on there. Ah, I, I don't really care much for the uh, wraparound uh, abalone. But after a while, you know, you're not playing like this, like it's a lap guitar. You're just, you know, you have it down, so you don't really see it. Um, fell in love with this so much that I decided to grab another one. And this is the one that actually arrived today. This is a 2006 LTD uh, EC1000. It actually has the Spurzel uh, um, string locks in the back. It is all gold hardware. I may end up just swapping the gold hardware here um, just because they're kind of old. They're just kind of buffed out. Uh, and of course, it comes with EMG 81 and 85s. If you know me, you probably know that I used to hate EMGs. Then, once I learned about, because uh, my boy Steve was just like, yo, check this out. And I ended up just collecting a bunch of the uh, EMG battery booster packs. So I immediately loaded this guy in after I cleaned it. Uh, I oiled the neck. I buffed everything. Um, and literally, it sounds, it looks gorgeous. Sounds beautiful. Same with the abalone on here and of course it has it wrapped around also but you can't really see it you can't really tell i mean you can once you're up here right but back here it just looks just like nothing it just looks like a like just a, a some kind of reflective something or other back there where if unless you're a guitarist you're really not going to know what it is okay so i am going to be running my new to me, again, because it's a 2006, it's an older guitar. Uh, I'm going to be running that LTD EC1000 out of my Paul Reed Smith MT15. That is running out to my uh, Boss um, Super Overdrive. And I'm using the uh, high wind amplification noise gate. And that's really it. So let's have a little listen. I talked a lot, I know. So there you guys have it. Listen, is an LTD the same as an ESP? It's not, although if you buy any of the LTDs that are in the 1000 series or even the original high end, which was the elite um, LTD line, the Elite are literally just like the ESP M2s, the 1000 Deluxe line. They are literally, like I said, 
90% of what an ESP is. With subtle differences like the set neck, like the veneer top, which is literally a paper thin layer of wood that just looks pretty. Um, that's what this is. It literally is just a little paper thin uh, veneer that they put on there. It looks beautiful. There's no difference in my opinion between that and this ESP Horizon Custom. The main difference is you can see that it's an actual cap and you know it ju they just go into it a little more when it comes down to the the different tops that they have you know so overall you know e e the way i look at it is if those things don't really matter to you as far as you know if you want some kind of a top whether it's a quilt or uh, a flame maple top if you don't care what it's made of or how thick it is, and you just like uh, the aesthetics of it, then you're fine. Then, you know, all day with an LTD and keep in mind that I used to hate LTD for years since 1996, when they first made the announcement and started selling them. I was just like, never son, never going to play one of those garbage LTDs. Um, they're actually great guitars. Um, I don't necessarily think I'm going to buy any more guitars, although that always remains to be seen because all of a sudden I'll have another guitar being shipped. Um, but, yo, for real, this thing is absolutely incredible. And uh, I bought this guitar from this guy, Matt, who is in a band in New Hampshire. And that guitar was actually in one of their music videos. So if you click on the description below, I'll put a link to his band uh, along with the video. They have two guitarists and of course, just look for the guitarist. They're all kind of silhouette-ish kind of footage, um, but it's a cool video. And again, just look for the shape of the Eclipse and that's this guitar, uh, which I thought was actually really cool. So Matt, thank you so much. Guys, if you haven't hit the subscribe button, Hit it now before I kick you in the gonads and don't make me, dude. I kick really hard. Dude, I wear docks. You don't want to feel that. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. And as usual, I'll talk to you guys soon.